Hey, working in the hallway upstairs again and picked up a product here. I've never used one of these. It's a nightlight LED outlet. So I have this dark hallway, so I'm working in the hallway. It's got one outlet here and at night it's pretty dark. Um, there is a little bit of light here during the day from downstairs and from the bedroom at the end of the hall. But I wanted a little light in the hallway to be able to access the bathroom from all four of the bedrooms up here. So I picked one of these up. Um, they make outlet covers with little prongs that slip over so it's not like a, um, a solid connection and they're about the same price. They're like 10, 12 bucks, bucks for an outlet cover and I didn't like the way they installed so I went ahead and got the actual outlet. So I'll go ahead and do an install and review of the product and see what it looks like and see if it helps out this hallway. Alright, got my outlet tester Klein RT250. I have a video from that if you want to see it. But go ahead and leave this plugged in and go find the breaker and secure power. Alright, light's gone. Zero voltage says open hot. So we found the breaker. So now let's go ahead and remove the cover. Let's use a flat tip to remove the screw. And just a quick uh, look at the product. Um, I got this off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. It's Legrand Radiant. I think it was like 15 bucks, $14. I'll have to check. But uh, has the LED light on it. But so it says cool to the touch, soft LED light provides safety. Automatically turns on when room is dark. So night light that comes on when it's dark. Five adjustable light settings, including off. Also has a different louver to like angle the light down. Uh, tamper resistant shutter. So duplex de decorator style outlet. So just pull it out. So the LEDs in the middle here. So it has like this polycarbonate like diffuser lens that you can uh, swap out, I think, for a shutter. We'll play with that in a little bit. So he has this like angled louvered shutter lens too. So we'll check and see what that looks like. And a little bit of install directions. But standard like decorator style duplex outlet. Except it has the LED light in the middle. So it has a ground. Silver's for neutral and gold's for hot. So let's go ahead and start with the install. So I'll just loosen these two screws. All right, we got the outlet pulled out. So I've got two blacks, two whites, and a ground to remove. Um, they are quick wired. So there's these little detent slots. You have to put like a flat tip screwdriver in to remove. Uh, I found in the past that using one of these, this is like a little unlock for like interior doors. The little hole, you slide this into like twist and unlock the door. These work perfect, fit in these detents on old outlets. So I'm gonna push it in to remove these uh, wires, get all four removed and then undo the ground screw to get that ground off. The new outlet, the ground's on top. Let's go ahead and get that hooked up first. And then we got the gold screws where it says hot. That's where both our blacks will go. So go ahead and get those slid behind and tightened in. Flip it over and do the same with the whites. All right, double check my connections. Everything looks good. Um, at this point, just kind of start feeding it back in. But before I mount it, I'm going to go ahead and cut the breaker back on and test it. This little lens did fall out. Throw it back in. Uh, turn the breaker back on. Uh, can you shut the light off? So we'll shut the light off. It looks like it takes a second to cut on and turn the light off. Turn it on. It takes a second to cut. So the on off with the night mode uh, light sensing works. So also you can adjust the brightness. So it's low, medium, low, medium, and high. So we'll go ahead and get it all. And then I think you can like manually turn it off as well. But we'll go ahead and get this fully installed um, and then do some final testing. All right, I'm gonna work it back into the box. Get these screws lined up. Get 
get it centered and then tighten it down the rest of the way. Got it fully mounted. Uh, now you could go ahead and put your outlet plate on. Uh, it does use a decorator style. Uh, it doesn't come with one. I have a few of these left over from GFCIs I bought. So if you're placing a standard outlet like I was, you will have to pick up a decorator plate cover. These are a couple bucks. So, but I'll leave it off for now because you can't slide out the lens and change it with the cover installed. So if you wanted to change to the shutter, um, you'd have to remove that. But let's go ahead and put the shutter in. Again, it has like the angled louvers. We'll get this uh, thrown in, see what that looks like. So there's the louver. Again, um, I'll turn the light off so we can see it. It is, it will let you put it in upside down. Um, but there's like a little bump out on one side that's longer than the other. So if you put it on upside down, you won't be able to get your cover plate back on. I will note that with the louver, some light bleeds out on the sides, just so you're aware of that. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like with the light off. All right, so it is dimmer overall with the little shutter on. It does definitely directs the light instead of more straight out it directs it more down um, let's click on it medium low off so that's low medium low medium and high so again it's not super dark out here um, I have light coming in but I'll do a I'll wait and do a little test tonight in full darkness see what it looks like but it definitely does shine light on the floor with the louvers. I think I'm going to take the louver out and leave the uh, regular lens in for now and see how that looks tonight. Put the regular lens back in. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, plate on and see how it looks overall. The final shots with the uh, outlet cover on. Looks pretty good, like a standard, uh, you know, decorator style uh, outlet and cover, except it's got the little light in the middle. And go ahead and check my outlets. So 123 volts and it says correct. So we are wired correct. 123 correct. So both outlets work. I think I'm going to leave it on high. Uh, the lower settings aren't super useful to me. I think high is fine. Um, yeah, it, it illuminates the floor and across the hall. It's definitely enough to light up the hallway at night to orient you when you're walking through. So I'll wrap up this video. Um, overall, I really like it. Seems like good quality. It was easy to install. Um, again, it's NEMA rated and UL listed. So I like the, this much better than one of those just like slide on covers with the little slip on contacts. I think this is a much better design where it's integrated. So I like the look of this better than the shutter, but you can use that little shutter if you want. Um, so yeah, it's not crazy bright, like um, like a plug-in nightlight with a bulb, you know, like for a kid's room, if you want to like light up a good amount of the room. But it is enough to orient you and see where you're going when it's like pitch black. So at, for that, I think it did what I wanted to do for the, my little hallway up here. So yeah, again, I'll leave a link in the description to the one I, uh, I used. It was like $14.95 on Amazon. So I'm really happy with it. I think it's uh, good for the price. So yeah, that's it for this one. All right, bye.